Hello everyone, Amud here from your Target Common YouTube channel and this will be a continuation of this episode and to end framework playlist video series. In this video, we are going to learn about .git ignore file. Recently, I connected with a guy who was working on this framework and he was trying to ignore some files means he has created the, his own repo and every time he used to push every changes so he was trying to implement the dot git ignore concept but it was not working for him and there i noticed like many of you might be facing the same issue so let's make a video on that so in intellij when you create a project so when you try to add a new file so automatically it shows one pop-up okay like if you want to add this file to git or not so let me show you that example if you try to add a new file so simply go to new and add a new file Maybe Maybe I will name it as like demo.json. So as soon as you enter, you see this pop-up add file to get. Do you want to add the following file to get? And it's giving the file path. And then if you choose cancel, you can still add it later manually. So generally we see this pop-up and you click on don't ask again and click on add okay which you must have done if you are beginner or you are don't know what is this one because this is annoying pop-up and it will come every time obviously you can go and change it from settings but i will explain that later so suppose as of now i am simply clicking on cancel so if i go and right click on my project and if i do get go to commit directory then you will see here we have one unversions file and if you expand it it is showing the demo.json if you want to push this file to your repo then you need to select it from here and you need to do commit and push but in a project there are always some files which you don't want to post in that case what you should do you can have a dot git ignore file in your root directory of your repo so for that what you need to do right click on your project go to new and select file and you need to name it as dot git ignore this is fixed you cannot give it any name you need to use dot git ignore and click on it okay again i will click on cancel i don't want to push the demo.json because this is just for practice purpose if you go to git commit again then here you can see there are two unversions file dot git ignore we added and demo.json we added i just want to put dot git ignore i don't want to consider demo.json i don't want to commit and push so for that what you can do you can come to dot git ignore file and you can start typing Okay, see the intelligence of IntelliJ idea. You simply type the name demo.json, automatically it will come here. If you see the left hand side, now it is not showing demo.json file under the unversion file. If you come here and try to do any changes, okay, do any change. Then also if you come and refresh, it will not show any changes here because git ignore file is ignoring demo.json file. Okay, now if you want to commit and push this changes, simply select check the checkbox and add one command like added git ignore file and you can do the commit and push. Okay, now you can see there's no changes. Suppose you add a new one more new file maybe demo2.json i'm clicking on cancel every time so if you do the git commit obviously you will see the demo2.json file as unversion file why because we have not ignored that file so you can see unversion file we have demo2.json i want to ignore this file as well so you can simply come to dot git ignore file and type demo2.json so this will be ignored okay now you can see there's no changes we modified the dot git ignore file that's why it is coming here if you want to see what has been modified as part of this change you can simply right click and go to show diff option you can see it is showing that demo 2.json you have added now let me explain what mistake that guy was doing so let me add a new file again and i will name it as like demo 3.json this time i will simply check this checkbox don't ask again and i will click on add now you can see the color of this file name is green now if i go to git commit again it is coming under changes right demo 3.json git techno is coming anyway because we have not committed whatever we changed it last time right you can see demo 3.json is coming directly as changes it is not coming under unversion file if i go to git ignore and i try to add demo 3.json and if I refresh, then also you can see it is showing under changes only. The reason behind it, when you check that checkbox, so automatically IntelliJ is adding all those files as changes. Once a file has been added as changes, you getting no will not consider about that. So if you want to add this demo3.json into git ignore file and so that git ignore can ignore this file, you need to unstage this file. We have three steps. If you want to push a file to your git repo, first you need to add it, means you need to add to the stage area, then you need to commit it, then you need to push it. 
right but with that option checked automatically it is adding to the staging area that's why git ignore is not working on this demo3.json so for that you need to unstage this file first and then you need to add to git ignore means if i go to terminal and if you run the command git status here you can see changes to be committed git new file demo3.json this file is already staged i need to unstage it so that my git ignore will consider that so what i'm going to do we have a command git restore staged and you need to give the file name if i run the git status com command again you can see here now it is not showing any file as staged so now if you come and simply refresh it you can see demo3.js is not showing up here because of git ignore file if i remove this from here and if i do the refresh again you'll see the demo 3 is coming under the unversion file. So you need to be careful what option you're selecting. So if you, do, if you don't want that any file should be added to git automatically, then you can go to file, go to settings. And here under the version control, you have one option called confirmation. Inside confirmation, the first option when files are created, add silently you have, right? This was done when you selected that checkbox and click on add. So if you don't want, that it should not happen like that way then you can use the ask option or you can click simply select the do not add so whatever new file you will add now that will not be automatically adding to the staging area suppose here i don't want to push any changes or any files under the reports directory so simply you can come here and type reports see it is giving the option if you want to ignore any specific file you can give the slash and you can type the name automatically those names will be coming right you can see so this file will not be part of your commit you can add the folders you can add the files like this in the git ignore there is an another way to add a file to dot git ignore file easily i am going to create sub packages and inside that i will add a file and that file i want to ignore so for that let me go and click create a package so maybe i will name it as like d1 Inside this, I will create a sub package. So that should be D2. And inside that again, I want to create a new package. And this time I can name it as like D3. Inside this, I will have a new file and I will name it as like sub package.json. Now I want to ignore this file. Okay. So I will see I need to add the path into dot get ignore file. So for that one option you have, you come to dot get ignore file and start typing. So it will be like D1, then you need to write D2, okay, then you need to write D3. You can see options are coming and now the file name you need to start from S, so automatically it's coming like subpackage.json. Now if you go to git commit, you will not see that file, right, you will not see that file. But suppose if I remove this one automatically you will see this file in the git commit right you can see here so that was one one option to add a file to git ignore but that will be like again if it is like deeply nested then it will really problem for you to add that file to git ignore but there is one simple way you simply come to git commit and here you see the unversion file if you simply right click on it automatically you will see one option called add to dot git ignore file mouse over and select the first option automatically the file will be added with the proper path in the dot getting row. You no need to worry about. Okay, this is another way. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.